our sheriff, Sheriff Phil Sims of Sheriff Phil Sims of Marshall County, Alabama, attacked us for our property. He ordered us taken down, and he used child sex trafficking slander as a means to do it. Sheriff Phil Sims has replaced the rule of law with this radical current concept of states' rights, also known as radical states' rights, fascism. It's a new phenomenon in America. Fascism is simply a concept whereby the government confiscates private businesses, private property. It ties in with communism. It ties in with Nazism. It's just a militant state, and that's what happened. And they ordered us sabotaged. Who's they? The state government of Alabama. You've got the Attorney General Steve Marshall ordering it and are condoning it in his own hand. They would not take the police reports properly. They would not take the sheriff's reports properly. They did not want a paper trail. They did not want a trace of their crimes they wanted to kill Brother Chapel, and they did because he stood between them and their prize, a $1 million prime commercial real property owned by their gender-based hate target, Eugenia R. Collins, because she stopped them in the Supreme Court of Alabama. In case number 1051726, Federal Credit Inc. versus Greg Fuller. Go ask Sheriff Phil Sims why he did this. Go ask him. If you know him, go ask him. Say, why did you deny Eugenia R. Collins, J. Monroe Johnson, and Roger Coit Chapel, a.k.a. Brother Chapel, their 14th Amendment due process rights? Why did you run with hearsay a modern-day lynching, a modern-day witch hunt. Why did you capitalize on the homophobic hysteria that Boy Scout masters, which are the leaders of the Boy Scouts, over individual Boy Scout troops, which is what Brother Chapel was? Why did you capitalize on the stereotype that a, a, an, an American Boy Scout master is a pedophile or a likely pedophile. Why would you do such a thing, Sheriff Phil Sims? That's what you did. We have it recorded on audio recorders. It became common knowledge for a time, a public hysteria. It was an orchestrated fake moral panic. You made people think that a child sex trafficking operation was in play and you were going to be the hero and save the children and confiscate Eugenia R. Collins's prime commercial real property. It was a big fat lie and you knew it because you were simultaneously you were you were simultaneously bragging that you are going to assist your banker friend, Margaret Lacey, in unjust forced bank foreclosure because she held the first mortgage on Eugenia R. Collins' prime commercial real property, and she was not successful in forcing Eugenia R. Collins into unjust forced bank foreclosure when she gave away all of Eugenia's bank savings, right when the Supreme Court ruling was publicized, April 15th, 2011. And then eight years to the day 
on April 15th, 2019, and just a few months after Sheriff Phil Sims had become Marshall County Sheriff, Eugenia R. Collins' youngest son was ordered by the police powers of the state of Alabama to sexually assault Jay Monroe Johnson through his chiropractic doctor. That's John Allen Smith. You can't deny it. The chiropractic doctor sexually assaulted Eugenia's youngest son to instill terror and fear in Eugenia R. Collins' family. Get out! Get out while you can! Surrender your prime commercial real property and leave Marshall County or we'll kill you. There's a new sheriff in town and he's got the spine, the fortitude and the dedication to eradicate evil from Marshall County. There will be no more child sex trafficking operations allowed in Marshall County under the new Sheriff Phil Sims. It's a new day. It's a new sheriff. And it was all a big fat lie. The sheriff is involved in a prime commercial real property heist. And he's used child rape slander and rape and robbery and absolute arson. Our building's been set on fire six times in 16 months. We need a federal investigation into this tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's the radical right-wing extremists. They were ushered in unbeknownst to us when President Donald J. Trump was elected President of the United States. He would have never condoned such radical violence. It happened. This unprovoked and illegal invasion that killed a World War II Navy veteran and financially ruined an 83-year-of-age American female. She happens to be German-American. Her maiden name is Rogers, her Hofreister Rogers, straight from Berlin, Germany. Why is that relevant? Well, you know, it's Tyree Nichols that got his face and skull crushed in by his own brothers, African Americans. Five police officers in Memphis, Tennessee. Tyree Nichols was handcuffed and laying on a wet sidewalk when his brothers kicked his face in, his skull in, his nose in, his eyeballs in. His mother did not recognize him. His face looked like Medgar Evans. His face looked like Emmett Till. Beastly violence. That's what Emmett Till's mother said. And she ordered an open casket. It's kind of like This is what you did. Yeah. Jacqueline Kennedy. On the plane ride from Dallas, Texas, she refused to take off her infamous pink dress. She said, I want them to see what they've done. It had blood all over it. It had brain matter all over it from her husband. See, these people are beastly violent. They act like animals. That's Sheriff Phil Sims. He doesn't realize he's caught. He just doesn't realize he's caught. He thinks a gun will solve everything. He thinks a badge will solve everything. No. 
the truth will trump everything. everything. The truth will trump everything. I don't care what you bring. You will not overcome the truth. Study history. Understand that Adolf Hitler had a dramatic short run. And then the world shut him down like they're going to do you, Sheriff Phil Sims. The world will shut you down. You did this. You've got blood on your hands. And you did it for all the wrong reasons. You knew you were breaking the law. And you believed you were above the law. Now, I want to say something, and this is new information. We're 12 minutes in, and we're going to cut this off in about three minutes. So be prepared, because we're going to cut this video short today at 15 minutes. we got two and a half minutes left. In November 2021, I have recently discovered a document where Brother Chapel had me type up a request from probate judge Andrea McCoy. It's for her, from him. He was begging her to help him get these theft reports filed. It's notarized. It's dated and notarized by Brother Chapel. Looking back, you realize it was the sheriff's department not wanting to create a paper trail because they were ordering the theft and are condoning it. And Brother Chapel went to the probate judge. She's over the automobile tags, the marriage license, if you don't know. She doesn't hold court like a circuit court judge or a district court judge. She is elected, and she was his friend. She needs to be interviewed by a federal attorney. Because I have a statement for Anne-Marie Carney Axon and that's the U.S. District Court Judge at the Hugo L. Black Federal Courthouse. The statement is, thank you for deeming us United States trustworthy. Witnesses. And I have a statement for Marshall County Probate Judge Andrea McCroy. They killed him. have about 15 seconds. If like, could share, just, and subscribe is Rick Joe, all I can Rick say. Joe, um, what have you got to say? If you have any statement to make right now, what is that? Wow. All I got to say is everything this man does say is, is the truth and we do need your help. Public Alabama. Well, <laughs> what Marshall County didn't know is that Brother Chapel was documenting, documenting, documenting when they were doing everything in their power not to document. And what were they not wanting to document? Their, Ill Ill their, their takedown, their hate, theft, and revenge conspiracy to kill, steal, and destroy. Like, share, and subscribe. The power of God is upon his servants.